taking time to rest. Now, it, it, again, this will, all of this, this entire topic will depend on a person, depending on how much you train, depending on, on your age, your, your physical fitness, and really what you're trying to achieve with your life and with jujitsu. But I often recommend taking a little bit time off to recharge on a regular basis. And what I mean by regular basis, not every week, but in a longer period of time. So um, this is how I look at it. Um, making sure that we recharge our bodies and we get fuel in order for us to be able to execute things on the mat is extremely important. Matter of fact, something that's the most important part, the recovery and recharge is more important than actual exercise themselves, right? And this is where we're getting into a physical part of jiu-jitsu because it is a physical activity. We grapple, we engage physically together, but also mentally. We stimulate ourselves mentally. We need time to recharge. We need time to take a break, clear our mind, refocus, and come back so we are more and more productive. So this is how I look at this. We have to recharge on a regular basis, right? So every week, you should have a downtime. Every day, you should have a little time where you're not thinking about jiu-jitsu, where you can recharge. And now it's hard, especially when this is a big passion of yours and you want to think about jiu-jitsu all the time. But... Taking time off is good. Now, doing this in moderation, that's the key, right? It's a very fine balance of taking time off and not coming back. So every day, you should have a little time off from jiu-jitsu. Every week, you should have a day off. You should have a day off. You should focus on other things in jiu-jitsu. Let your body, body recover and recharge. But now, let's talk about these little bit bigger chunks, like vacations. Those are important. Those are critical, right? So a lot of us like to, when we go on vacations, we like to pack gear with us, with our belt, right, the whole thing, whole gear up, you know, our spouse sometimes yells at us that half of the suitcase takes up, you know, that your gear takes up and it's all fine, you can deal with that, but listen, it's, we, we, we all love going on vacation and training somewhere else. It's, it's a great idea to explore these opportunities, but there is also a, an unquestionable value behind taking time off for a few days off training, having a complete shut down, complete, let me remove myself from this, let me not think jiu-jitsu for a moment, enjoy myself, and then when I come back, I'm recharged and ready to go. The caveat here is this, if we do this too often, then we create disengagement. If we do this not often enough, we burn out. So this recipe is only good for me and you need to find your own. I'll tell you what I do, end of each year, about December, between holidays and New Year, I take about two weeks off. I don't teach, I'm out of town typically, I'm, um, I'm not even engaged in jiu-jitsu at all. I don't look at jiu-jitsu, I completely remove myself from jiu-jitsu simply so I can clear my mind, clear my, you know, everything that's surrounded. My entire life is jiu-jitsu. Everything I do for work, for, for teaching, training, everything is jiu-jitsu. So I need that time to recharge. Your recipe might be different depending on your circumstances, you know, where you work, how you work, how many times you train and so on. No matter what, I encourage you to find time off recharging mentally and physically is extremely important to our success. So plan your days, plan your weeks, plan your months, and plan your years because plenty of them ahead, but you want to keep coming back and you want your body and your mind to be sharp as you're exploring these opportunities, as you're learning more, as you continuously continue pushing with this beautiful and wonderful journey of Jiu-Jitsu. Peace.